And we're live on YouTube and we're live on Oasis FM. Uh, the beautiful Tony Braxton, Earn Break My Heart on Oasis FM. Just gone 20 past five. Now I'm going to put the music on because you've got to have the tease background music because I have another guest in the studio, which always excites me uh, to have a conversation uh, with somebody about their trade and about their act and all the rest of it. I am absolutely thrilled uh, to introduce, if you don't know who he is, he is otherwise known as the God Swings, Mr. Ed Lenny. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, How are you? I'm good. Excellent. We are live on YouTube as well, so if you want to watch along, you can. If not, if you're in the car or on the radio, we're going to have a chat about, well, about you, Ed, and about your act. Uh, you're looking very dapper, by the way. You look like you've kind of just come off the golf course a little bit. That's, but... Somebody said that today, <laughs> and everyone was, uh, you've got your, your, your Cockney Cab Driver's outfit on as well, yeah. was you? <laughs> it's the flat, <laughs> it must be the flat cab. Which wasn't it? the intention, but I ain't you know. Yeah, but looking very dapper, I've got to say. But then again, <laughs> you always look very dapper when you do your show as well as the Godfather. It's, it's, I love the 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 brogues like they look like spats, and then you've got your braces and all the rest of it. It's really is a truly beautiful thing to see. Really, it's somebody who loves that whole persona thing. Compensates for my lack of talent. Oh no, <laughs> don't be silly. What I what I want to talk about, uh, Ed, is really how you got into this whole world of show, how this whole business came about, and how where it started for you. I'm really interested in sort of people's story. You know, uh got into doing what I'm doing now very late very late um but was always I was always one of those irritated little kids used to get to sing a song and you know put me on a table family parties and that sort of stuff um bit of a jail actor um David Niven ruined me career. Oh, That's really? Story. Yeah. Come and tell you that one, <laughs> one time. Niven ruined his career. God's truth, you, so were you... I was destined to be uh, a jail star. Right. Because I'd been cast um, after a huge process um, to take part in a, a semi-animated, you know, like Mary Poppins? Song. Yes, yeah, yeah. And um, they were doing this movie called um, The Enchanted Orchestra. Right. With David Niven. Right. Um, was a, an orchestra leader. Um with a deceased wife and a young son called Peter. Okay. Who used to take them to the theatre every night because he couldn't leave him to go home. Yeah. His dad used to you know, not have the orchestra. And then one night the, the child fell asleep in the theatre and it was cleared out and when he woke up all the instruments were talking and it was called the, the, uh, right. yeah, yeah. the Enchanted Orchestra. Yeah. Anyway, after the whole process of months of trying to find a star for this this, this movie, we, I was the child and David never died. Oh, no. So the movie never got me. <laughs> so uh, David Niven's David death. David Niven ruined me. Career. Oh, no. Um, yeah. But that was, so that must have been an amazing... How old were you when that happened? You must have been a little nipper. Ten, sure. yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So did you go on and do anything else after that? Or was um, it, did you just go, oh, that's it now, he's he's gone and I don't want to do it? Not really. That that, that came about because it's pretty similar to this. I mean, I, you know, I had never put myself forward for, right. for nomination or anything. Yeah. To be honest with you, we know there's varying thoughts about the, the tease. It's a trick you want to be talking to Chris yeah. about how do you keep everybody happy? It's impossible. Yes, but you it know is. there is a school of thought over yeah, there. Absolutely. Popularity contest, mm. etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um and I got thrown into that thing with the with the movie. And so the, the process went on and it wasn't something that I initiated. Right. I was okay. only ten. Yeah, yeah. Um but after that, I finished up as a result of that. Um, I got a part in uh, a, a theatre production, uh, The King and I. All right. Um, okay. Playing the Crown Prince, and that was on at a theatre in Newcastle. Right. Um, and I quite enjoyed myself, to be honest with you. I, I did, fun. yeah. I did a bit of acting yeah. when I was the same age, about yeah. 11 years old. You and Bugsy Malone and 42nd yeah, Street yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah. those kind absolutely, of kids. Absolutely. And good the fun. Good, good fun. Great, great good fun. fun. Did that good. carry on then into into music, or, or were no, you not that, not, not, that not, sort not, of bothered not, with not. it then? I, uh, when I went to high school, um then uh, after that after the, the, the king and i situation i just you know it's a different situation at school you're in yeah. high school you want to be one of the you chaps cool, you don't want yeah. to be in drama <laughs> class and all that. yeah and then my music teacher said you, you know he says you they, they do want to um i do want a school production of the west side story oh brilliant why don't you come and you ask that information just come and just get loads of time off lessons and <laughs> there's loads of checks and fun. <laughs> i saw well let's have think about that so i did uh, and Strange thing as well, a, a producer from Tiny Television 
was coming to see the show because right. the guy, one of the guys who played uh, one of the lead roles, um, they wanted him for a lead role in a, a an oldies production. Right. Okay. A, a kids in, in TV kids series. TV series. Yeah. Anyway, they came and they dismissed him to see my performance and I someone to talk to him. Wow. <laughs> So I finished up going for an audition for that, never got the part. Ah. And I thought, ah, you know, what idiot of me. Yeah. Because I, I, I worked as a kid. I've just done Chris there, you know, I'm from a, a, a family of street traders yeah. and I was working the street when I was 10 years old. Right, okay. So money in my pocket was yeah. always the, the sort of thing, you yes. know? This acting thing, when you know, whatever happened to that. It was, it was a bit of fun, but yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a bit of fun. Yeah. Nothing ever. Something had to happen. Great. If never, David never had a died, it might have been you a might, different well, exactly. You never know. You never know. Um, but you, you seem to be in, like from a family of people who, who were just grafters and just, just did are. the yeah, work. Abs and... Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and do whatever you've got to do yeah. to, to get a shilling. Absolutely. Um, entertainment w w was never the thing. My, my, my mother was a great dancer in her youth. And yeah. uh, thankfully, my mother is actually here in Tenerife right now. <laughs> wow. Celebrating her 90th birthday oh, wow. on Wednesday. A 90th birthday on Wednesday. Absolutely. Well, happy birthday. And she's uh, my very, very special guest at the awards on Sunday. Fan, so. I, do you know uh, what? I, I, may, like, I will make know, a beeline for you because I'm looking forward to, to, yeah, to meeting uh, her. So. She's 19 going on 19. Oh really? <laughs> Nine going on 19. I love it. I can't wait to meet her. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a beeline for you. Well, on getting my, involved on the in, uh, in in singing came about by default. As I say, I always used to get up and sing. Yeah. You're not gonna booze and you get up and sing a song, yeah. whatever. Um, and then uh, by default, I got involved through um through my son's school actually because I had a child with um special needs, yeah. which is one of the reasons I came to Tenerife yeah. 25 years mm -hmm. ago to live. Yeah. Um, so that's like, you know, a long, a long time ago, yeah. I had a bar here and that at the time and, um, and, and, and set up home here because it was much better for my son. Yeah. had cerebral palsy. Yeah. Oh, in terms of weather and climate yeah, and climate, things in general I'm health. Yeah. Therapy. I was yeah. getting here for like a third of the price right. I was having to pay back home. Yeah. So it suited me, you know, I had businesses back mm -hmm. home. Uh, so I said, right, I'm going to have some time here. Yeah. I finished up buying a bar here. And after four years, my son's like needing education. Yeah. There was nothing here. Right. So I went back home and uh, I opened the first Canarian restaurant in the United Kingdom. Oh, wow. In 2003. That's a fact. Yeah. Take it to the bank. <laughs> um, and I got involved with the school that he went to uh, doing some fundraising. Right. And they asked me to uh, sing a couple of songs at the Gala Ball one yeah. night during dinner. Okay. And they said it would just be a nice thing, you know, we know that you like to sing, yeah. blah, 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 and uh, it would save some money on the expenses of pianists. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, if, and if it's a fundraiser, yeah. you want you really we, just you know, all the money to go to the school. And we did used to raise some big money yeah. for the school, you know, it was yeah. a big gala event, and you know, all the right people there, and four or five hundred people in yeah. black tie, nice. the whole nine yards. Yeah. And I got up there, and I, I enjoyed it, and you know, I, then people want to book for weddings and stuff like that, and I thought, well, you know, why not? Great. You can ring the bell yes. when you go to a wedding and get a few quid, <laughs> exactly. but fortunately you don't do them three times a week. So, no, exactly. Yeah, it's you know, just the so weekend. So it was a hobby. Yeah. Is what it was. Um, and then, you know, a lot of stuff happened. I got divorced mm. and we got rest his soul. My little boy passed, passed away. away yeah. um, and then I just found myself in a situation where I thought, you know, what, 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 what do you do here? Your life has changed dramatically. Yeah. Uh, in your 50s. Yeah. What are you going to do? I was someone who got to myself, I'm gonna go back to Tenerife. I mean, I've been in New York yeah. a lot, yeah. And but you know, that it was easier to come here, it yes. was my second home. And I thought, if I can get on the circuit, I'm gonna take a microphone, a few backing tracks, exactly. and let's try it, yeah. And I so I fell into it like that, so it wasn't anything that I really set out to do deliberately. I kind no, of not deliberately. it was almost like life had sort of steered you back towards it in a way, absolutely. And you know, ironically, it steered me in a direction of when I, when I think about it now. Like you just mentioned Bugsy Malone. Yeah, right? yeah. I loved that when I was a kid. Yeah, I, mean, I wanted the shoes, I wanted the splurge <laughs> going, I wanted the hat, I wanted the suit, so, yes. everything. Now I wear that outfit you rather get up now, to go to yeah. work, <laughs> yeah. which is great. And the genre of music that I do, I think it's just it's just the coolest. You know, it, I wouldn't yeah. have, I wouldn't have got involved with music if I was doing pop or rock or whatever. Indeed. I love soul music. Yeah. And, you know, it's, and how it's, so how did the swing style come from? From you was that from your parents? Do you think, or were you were you um, always interested in that? No, I, just, I, I love you know I love all those old movies. I'm a big uh, Humphrey Bogart fan, you know uh, James Cagney and all. I just love that whole. And you know I, I come from a I come from a family of wise guys. Yeah, you know yeah. Um, 
for want of a better but expression, whereas the Trillwood yeah, Street exactly. trade hasn't yeah, stuff yeah. like that, you know? Um, so it, it was just, it, it appealed to me. Um, so when I performed at the school gala, it was this kind of stuff. Right, and then I okay. developed and developed. Yeah. And I felt comfortable with it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Um, and, and and that's how it came about. But the godfather of swing thing yeah. came about pretty much when I was in there. Uh, when I was in New York, I uh, spent a bit of time in New York. Right. Um, and I ended up in what I always envisioned to be my spiritual home, which was Little Italy. Right, yeah. In the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Yeah, Lower East Side, you know, yeah. Mulberry Street. Yeah. Oh, my boy, and I just crying. Yeah, right? exactly. All exactly. So I made a beeline strip of Mulberry Street. And I landed in the Mulberry Street bar. Um one night and they had a guy doing some songs karaoke so i got up and sang a song yeah and i finished up by default having sort of an unofficial residency there on a saturday wow. night and um, which was great because i befriended everybody yeah and, fell in love with me. and the whole accent i mean obviously you've you've seen the show i've seen the show many times yeah and and, um, and you're always you, uh, what i love about it is if you haven't seen the show ed show it always starts off with that beautiful piece of music from the from the Godfather, yeah. and and then Ed sort of comes on and start and the the accent is and I've only been to to New York once, but the accent is absolutely perfection, like that proper the drawl the the the, the elongated vowels, all of that kind of you know when he said someone's a wise guy and all that stuff, it's absolutely on point. That is essentially your persona, isn't it? The Godfather the is, is, is a character, it's a character. isn't he? He's it's a the... Absolutely, it's a show in that respect. Yeah. It's very much a show, you know. And the Godfather himself, when he when you talk, he the other thing I love about it is he he almost gives you a little education in the origins of some of this music. Yeah. Which when I first heard the show, I couldn't believe the 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 origins and how. Uh, the guys used to act, and it's particularly, you know, there was that great story about Dean Martin and, oh, yeah, and their drinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's you know, th th there's a lot of, and I, I love that fact because I, I love to talk to the um, to the audience, yeah. you know. And I, I always say in the show, you know, every day's a school day. You learn something every day. Absolutely. And here's a little thing about yeah. Martin, you know, yeah. this, you know, that. Louis Prima, how he inspired the Rat Pack. I'm a big, huge Louis Prima fan. Yeah. Love doing the Louis Prima section and the show. Always goes that I well. have to say, that is one of my favorite bits mm -hmm. as well. Obviously, not because just the obvious uh, songs yeah, yeah, that Louis yeah, Prima yeah. did, but you know, learning about yeah. also learning about who that who Louis Prima was. Absolutely. You know, yeah, great I didn't know. know incredible yeah. story. Louis really and incredible. Nobody seems to know who the guy, yeah. but everybody in the world knows who he is because of one song. Because of one song. Uh -huh. yeah. And um, then learning he was a wise guy and he was yeah. yeah Inspiration for the Rat Pack, you know, he inspired the Rat Pack, you know. So there's a lot of stuff that you know I'm I'm not sort of anal about it, but I you know I but in the day they see who the artists are, where they're from. But also the devil's in the detail when it comes to things like that. If you would you wouldn't know that, you know, the rat pack, you know, Dean and Sammy and and Frank would go and see Louis before they, you know. Unless you would see exactly. more show, you wouldn't yeah, know. No, no, exactly, you just assume exactly. that these three guys were always yeah, there. Yeah, they're all on the same job. They do their Doing own their thing. Exactly. And, uh, but, they, you know, Sonata used to do that. He used to go and see uh, Louis Prima show when yeah. he was starting out in Vegas. Exactly. Because so he, he just couldn't figure it out. Why he all, couldn't Why are all these people going crazy in this room? Yeah. They don't do that when I'm performing. You know, and so he, he had to watch. go and watch a master. he realised, yeah, that yeah. Oh, Louis Prima had this huge band on stage. Yeah. Oh, I'm nuts. You know, I got the own section. Do, yeah, exactly. And, you know? yeah, exactly. And then he realized he said, This is why people are dancing on tables. Exactly. And it's because they, they're yeah. having so much fun. Yeah. So, what's going on? You've got to go and get some of my pals and stuff. So. Exactly. Because yeah. when first starting out, quite serious bow tie, you know, doing the music and singing. And then he realized, oh, Hang on a second. This can be fun. Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. You know, and, and it is. You know, you, you've seen where we have the full street outside, yeah. uh, you know, doing New York, New that, York. And that Winchester bit at the end of your show as well is just amazing. And I love the fact that, that when you've got a good outside space, like some of the bars yeah, in, in Vanderbilt, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. it lends itself Absolutely. to a big ending um, of the end almost of the show. A, show. The, end the end of the, of the show, show, show. Yeah. And you got that from me, by the way. Don't think, yeah, don't yeah, but, <laughs> that's it. Those two Geordie Wise guys. Yeah. And that, but that's like almost every show you're going for a new record of how many people. You can get it, on their feet. Uh, yeah, and it, you know the, the the location it governs that. But yeah. we always crack it down at the yeah, at Winchester. Brilliant. We did it last night, yeah. you know, and it's great. And the end of the show shows great stuff. It is it's good really fun. good. It's such a good yeah. show. I really, yeah. really enjoy it. Um, Ed, apart from the Winchester uh, on a on uh, which is uh, was last night on a Thursday. Mm. Where else can we see you? Um, I'm in it. Where am I tonight? I, 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 Keep checking here, PC, you know, because I don't know where I'm at. Um, I'm with Heads and Tails tonight. Heads and Tails. Yes, okay, and I'm yeah. in the Pleasant 
The plucker. pheasant plucker, pheasant yeah, plucker. that's the one. Right. Tomorrow night, uh, Bamboo, I think, Port of Colon on Sunday, which All we're right. just starting yeah. up there. We're just finding our feet there. Yeah. Um, so if anybody wants to come and see a show, that's a good one because it's a two-hour yeah. show. So I do the whole the whole routine, wow. the whole prima yeah, thing yeah. and everything. I get a chance to do everything. Fantastic. I hate the one-hour shows. Actually. Yeah, no, I shouldn't say I hate them. But, but it's but not long enough for you yeah. to get into. No, nah, absolutely yeah. not. Um, and, uh, you know, I do another new one is Ian Spiegel, which is the, the beautiful restaurant on at uh, Club Atlantis Way, yes. down at Thor yeah, yeah. Um, You know, Sloops occasionally, obviously the Winchester, yeah. great venues. Um, I'll probably miss somebody out now and they're going to say, why well, you didn't give me a mention? Uh, but but the ABC, the ABC app, and out. actually quite a lot of people who I've, uh, I've yeah. spoken to over the last few weeks have all said the ABC app is... It keeps, app me, it keeps me where it, I'm you, at. You know where you are because of the app. <laughs> ABC, I love it, I love it. Um, and social media, can we find you on social media? Have you got a Godfather page? I, or have, you have, a... I have a page. Yeah. Um, the Godfather is strong. Okay, the Godfather. I could, if you ask me how many people follow it, I had no, if I said there was 50 or 100, I have no idea. It's Let's not, make it more. Go, go over thing, the Godfather but, of Swing, you know, give it a search uh, yeah, and give I'm it a follow. I'm not sort of, that's not my bad rule. Yeah. PR thing yeah. isn't made by the end of the day. You like, if you like what I do, then, then that's great. And, you know, I'm not going to ram it down your throat. No. Because it's not for everybody. No. And the strange thing is, you know, I see, uh, you, you, you see your audience. I mean, the summertime is quieter for me because you get a lot of younger people yeah. across the kids, you know, and I was telling them, my, my shoes are older than not yeah. put in the room. <laughs> but, um, yeah. uh, they don't want to listen to that sort of stuff. Yeah. And then sometimes you find a room where you think, I've got my age group here. Yes. And it don't always work. You right. find a couple of people get up and walk out. And I forget that, you know, people who are in the 40s or 50s or 50s plus now, you know, best part of 40 years ago, they were listening to madness. Yeah. So it, they don't necessarily, like, mm -hmm. I look at the age and I think you've got a leg swing. You've got to. Yeah. And it's not for everybody. But the people who do love it. And, yeah. you know, there's rarely a night goes by when I don't get somebody come up to me in days at the end and say, you know, that was song. There, it's my mother, my granny, yes. you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's nice, and you know, some I meet some wonderful people who who love this kind of stuff, and they always say, so what part of New York do you come? From? Do you know what the the first time I have to admit the first time you came into to the bar that I was in. I was convinced you were from because that's why I said it was so perfect. I was convinced you were, and then somebody sort of tapped me and went, "No, he's from the northeast of England," and I was like, "No, he's not. It sounds like he's from Brooklyn. He could have walked out of any part, you know, any part of the Lower East Side." Uh, and it turns out that you weren't. Uh, well, yeah, so you uh, had me. It's too late now to see. You had me. Don't blow my cover. Don't blow <laughs> yeah, my, my cover. It's yeah. gone now. I was so. going to say we've been talking but, uh, for quite a while about it. There was, a guy, there was a guy the other night. Funnily enough, I was a Scotch Scottish crowd there, and he came up and he says. Pal, he says, I gotta ask. He says, well, you from New York? I says, yeah, yeah, for sure. I said, it's, it's a long story. So he says, no, no where are you from? I says, uh, I was born in Newcastle upon Tain, spent a bunch of time. I didn't want to, you know. Yeah. And he says, but whereabouts in New York? I says, from New Jersey. He says, I told him. I said, the I guy's in Sydney. I said, he's, he ain't from New York. He's from New, New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey. He's I from said, Jersey, oh, yeah. tell you. So, but I, there's loads of times when I've been working, I've got a real yeah. with the people that think that, you know, Absolutely. But then, like ahead. he said, when you were down and uh, you were down there in New York City, spending time with people who were from Jersey and who were from Brooklyn, who were from the Lower East Side, it's easy to absorb all of that greatness, isn't it? Absolutely. You know? And I, I have an ear yes. for an accent. Don't ask me why. It just It's how it is. And I found when I was in New York, um, and New Yorkers are just the best people in the world. People have this idea that we've got on the no, if you yeah. if once they start talking, they'll talk all day. Yeah. And I just found them all tense. Like, say that again. What, what do you say? I can't understand. Yeah. So, and then with, you know, even when I'm working, you know, it sounds a lot better than saying, well, the next song is uh, I Left Me Heart in San Francisco. <laughs> I Left Me Heart you know, in San Francisco. You know, great yeah, song from yeah, Tommy yeah, Bennett. Yeah. I, did, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. Yeah, Beautiful place. Exactly. You gotta go. Um, it hundred percent yeah. sounds like. And then the should... Godfather thing yeah. came about um, because I was in New York, and I, uh, I, I have, uh, I had a couple of connected friends over there, and I finished up doing. Well, they um, made men, were they? Uh, May guys. They were main guys. guys. May guys. guys. Button guys. <laughs> so, um, and I finished up doing. I done a couple of parties just for. Sort the, of the, the, that sort of crowd, you know. Of, of uh, me, and, yeah, and yeah. my pal, he said to me, he says, you know, you, you, we got a guy, got to think of a name for you. Your name's Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> the Godfather. Who's the Godfather of Soul? Got that guy. I says, I'm James Brown. He says, James. The Godfather swing. You're the Godfather. The Godfather. Yeah. I says, all right. I said, so that was that, that was good. Then. Fun. Is, no, hey. you couldn't you could yeah. not? And, you know, well, and also yes. you couldn't say no. Could no. You? You're, you'd have been wearing a concrete you're overcoat. No, <laughs> so, that, that's how that came about. Um, 
And as I say, you know, I, I fell into it. I done yeah. it, I done it over in New York, and I fell into the whole music thing, being yeah. by by default, yeah. and uh, and picked it up more intensely. Shall I say, and it, when but I came it, in. But it, and you, and you're so you're so into that whole thing as well because you have got that absolutely beautiful retro mic as well, the old classic Tony Bennett's uh, 50s, Tony yeah, Bennett's Tony Bennett's microphone. microphone. It's just mm. an incredible piece of kit as well, and it really makes you look the part when you stand there and you've got your your braces on and your spats on and your trousers. Just it is like one of the best things I've seen. It really, Thank really is much. superb. It really is. No, no, I'm looking forward to uh, you know the, the opportunity to perform on the day. Um, which is is good. I only ever I, I've only attended the, the event once. It was last yeah, year. Yeah. Because as I say, previous I've been here twenty five years yeah. on and off. It I didn't get involved in a circuit. It wasn't my bag. Yeah. Uh, it just went on, and I was it was irrelevant. Yeah. Thing. Um. But obviously, I, I went last year because it was cancelled the year before. Yeah. So I went to have a look. Um. It's certainly a great day. It is. Um. And then to be involved in it this year, it was. I know it was it was strange because it wasn't something I'd even anticipated right, being involved okay. in. Um, if you had asked me beforehand, is it something you get involved in? I would have probably said no, no. because because of the varying schools of thought mm. that there is yeah, about this. Absolutely. And you know, we, we can't be naive and say that there isn't schools of no, thought. No, no, absolutely. About it. And you everybody know. seems the thing is everybody's got an opinion on it, whether positive or negative, and that's but that's everyone's prerogative. That's like pick however any, you pick feel anything, about it. Yeah. Pick any politics, well, you know, what whatever TV yeah. show like it's impo it's impossible. Yeah. But you know, and, and if there was if there was a way to make it fairer, God knows how you're gonna arrive at it. Um but you know you've got to understand like People like me and other artists who go on into social media. I mean, I can just about work my telephone, yeah. you know, I the remote control, yeah. the TV. I can manage that. But social media and stuff, it ain't my bag. Mm -hmm. So, and when you find yourself up against guys who've got literally tens mm -hmm. of thousands of followers yeah. who bang the social media thing yeah. like it's yeah. going out of style, Absolutely. and you're up against me or somebody like me who's got, uh, if I've got 50 yeah. or 100, I don't know. You, you think yourself, you know, what's going to happen? Yeah. You, you, the inevitable. But, but, is then, but then it also but then again, sometimes it can be a very, very pleasant surprise. Exactly. As we, we found out last year, for example, the live category voted for on the day, and it was down to individual performances, which is what it is this time around, right. which I think to a certain degree levels the playing field. It levels because, it to a degree. Yeah, to a degree. Because you're going to go out and do your thing. Of course. And you you've got a room full of people who are there to see an act and mm. are there to vote on an act, but also the people who are watching via YouTube yeah. at the time are also going to do exactly the same thing. And they're going to be watching those acts for their talent. And for, they will pick their mm. favourite of the day mm. based on what they've done. Sure. If you go out and give a bad show, the likelihood is you're not going to lose. You go out and absolutely annihilate it and do the thing that you do the best there's no reason why that that's not going to be your name called up, is there, really? Yes, what, what's what's going to be is, is going to be. Yeah. And, like, I've, I've, you know, I talked to Chris earlier on, you know, there are acts that are uh, in it this year that yeah. have been in it numerous years before, yeah. and they've won it numerous years yeah. before, and regardless of how many followers they've got or not got, they are deserving winners. Yeah. You know, you've got Ellen Michael Levies and your Soul Brothers yeah. and people like that who, for me, should be there yeah. and, 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 and should be winning. But... It's a shame that not everybody sees it that way. And, you know, I was I, one of them. I found myself in the situation now. I'm grateful to everybody yeah. who's bothered to nominate. To even to, yeah, nominate, exactly. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and what happens from here? I, I How are you feeling about the... the? Because I've spoken to a couple of the guys who were doing uh, live ones on the deck. How do you feel about entertaining other entertainers? Does that make it more nerve-wracking? Or is it just another show? Is it like, I'm going to go on and I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to be the godfather of soul. Swing, baby. Uh, swing, sorry. <laughs> that's uh, no, that's it. Listen, you, you, I, I, I get about my job. Um, I, 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 I know a lot of access here. Got to feel nervous before the start of a show. Yeah. That's what fires you up and stuff like that. I don't really suffer from nerves yeah. the majority of the time. Yeah. Uh, watch me get stage fright on the day. Typical. But, um, you know, who's sitting in the room is, is, is of no consequence because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm going to get up there and I'm And you're going to deliver to the audience, whoever that might be. That's right. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. what I get from you is, is like the audience is that's the audience right. is the audience that's and you're going to entertain absolutely. them regardless. Yeah. So, you know, I've got my fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to the day. And as I said, the, 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 big, the big deal for me is that my mother, you know, I'm blessed that my mother's still alive. Yes. First off. Yeah. She's 90. 90, yeah. Going on 19. 
which is fantastic. Which you know, is, if they I, offered I, me I, 90 tomorrow and be like her, uh, I would sign up my heart. Um, and the fact that she's going to be there at the, the event. I was going to say, the and, pride you know, of watching you performing live at the event is, is going to be the... That's, that's the win for you, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's your prize. That's the prize yeah. for me. That's the prize for me. Yeah. Absolutely. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so, we, you know, we, we'll get on with it. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be what it's going to be. Yeah. Um, but I've got some people that I'm really rooting for. Excellent. Uh, in this. Um, and... You know, I, I hope that what comes up for everybody is yeah. is, is positive. A good because there thing, is that's a lot what of, we want. You know, it's, there's yeah, a lot of it's stuff a, that goes we, on we there, want which, it to be a good yeah, day. We want yeah. everybody who's, you yeah. know, a friend. Because it is the only chance a lot of entertainers to see their friends because yeah. everybody's working at different venues and different nights. Yeah, yeah. So it's a nice opportunity to get back to seeing your friends again and network a little bit and have yeah. a drink and meet yeah, up. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Let's treat it as a nice social event for everybody who's in the business. You know? I'm sure it will be. I bad. know it will be, I'm yeah. I'm sure it will be. But we don't know. We don't know. Right. You know. But just going to be good, I think. I'm going to enjoy it anyway, and I am really, really looking forward to meeting your mum. Yes. I, I absolutely. I will make a beeline for no, you, I she, promise. I'll be there uh, doing backstage interviews, but I'll come out and see no, she's you. She's looking forward to it. Good so stuff. That's going to be a good thing. Ed Lenny, good. otherwise known as the godfather of swing, he's got his sparkly frame there, nomination for Best Solid Performer. It's a live vote on the day. There's no voting open for that yet. However, vote Voting for all the other categories actually closes at midnight tonight. Ed, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. It's been an absolute pleasure. Okay, and thank you. And just to let you know. Go on. Ah, I'm going to save it for the day. i got to keep, it, I gotta keep it a little bit of power. Right, right, okay. It's, well, listen, it's been good to speak there. Um, you know, sorry that we didn't get to know each other before. Your last uh, night in Winchester. Exactly. So you've been secretly watching the show. <laughs> secretly which is a good watching thing. the show for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, uh, God bless you. <laughs> thank you, Ray. Going to head for some music now. This is the Boogie Pimps. Ed, once again, thank you. We're just on the YouTube there. Say okay. goodbye to the folks at home. See you later. See Don't you forget soon. 16th. Be there, be square. And Don't you can forget to bring your swing, baby. <laughs> yes, and you can watch it live on YouTube uh, all the way through. Thanks to our sponsors, BGR Solutions. Ciao for now. Are we done?